Hey y'all, it's Randy, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Scan2 folder in a Toshiba eStudio 455. Okay, so I'm actually probably going to struggle through this a little bit because it's the worst thing ever in the history of the world as far as printers go. It's so non-intuitive. Um, it, it took us hours to figure this out. And there's no documentation on the internet. So anyway, I wanted to give you guys a... I know somebody's going to struggle with this. So what you want to do is log in to your printer, to its web page. And you're going to go to the administration. The default password on these is, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and then you, what you want to do, once you go to the administration tab, is click on Save as File. And then you're going to want to scroll down. And right here where it says either do not allow network folder to be used as destination or use destination uh, network folder, click on use network folder destination. Okay, so I've already done this, but you need to make sure that that's enabled, and then from there you're uh, good to go. You'll click save and then uh, go from there. I'm not going to do that right now. I can click save and show you that it'll pop up, but I'm going to hit cancel. So make sure that setting's turned on, and then you want to come over here, and I may make a few mistakes on this because it's awful. <laughs> but you see your, your template groups right there. And you have a bunch of undefined ones down at the bottom. So we're going to make a new one here. And we're going to call this one prescription. All right. And we're going to save it. And once you do that, all of a sudden down here at the bottom, it's all undefined. But now you have a little shaded box that you can actually click on. Nobody in a billion years would ever figure that out, but eventually you will. But here's the shortcut. So click on that little box. And then you want to go to scan and then save as file. And then you have to click select agent. Okay, once again, non intuitive, but don't get me started. Okay, so then at this point, you can select the save as file setting. It's going to actually allow you to enter in a destination. So we're almost there. So uncheck use local folder. Go ahead and check remote. You want to scroll down and put your information here. Let's see, hopefully I've got it saved. And I don't. So... There's not a way to pause this, so we're going to do gestures. All right, so then you're going to put your username here, and then you're going to want to put in your password. Not sure why my voice cracked on that. This is probably going to tell me that I've already added it, so if it does, it does. If it doesn't, then great. So click Save, and then look, now you have... Oops. Now you have a network location set up. Then you just click save. And if you'll go back, you can see right here, it's a scan to file, but it's a network file. And then if you go back out to registration, now we've got one called prescription. And it's set up, I think if you click here, it's going to show them all. Yeah, so we've got three that are set up here now. And so now the user from the printer, um, when they, they'll click the scan button and then it'll pop up where they can go to public templates. And if they click on that, then they'll be able to click as a destination. They'll be able to click one of these. And that's the way that you save it, um, that you have it set up where you can save it to a network folder. These particular users wanted to scan out to the folder on their computer called scans, and that's exactly how you do it. So there you go. There's how to scan to a network folder on a Toshiba eStudio 455. Thanks a lot for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to put them on here, and we will get to them as soon as we can. Thanks so much for tuning in, and have a great rest of your day.